work i had to have that talk with like i had a job interview and i had to make it known during that interview that this that i have this condition and i always got the oh my god you know how what happens like so i don't some like at the time i wasn't sure if it was like you genuinely want to know what's happening or do you want to know how it's going to affect my work you know and um, yeah i was i was just super like I was in my head about it, but I'm just like, this is for my safety. So I have to say something. And there was a time where I got a job at a small print tray. And on the first day I had a seizure, the very first day I had to be rushed to the hospital and they told me not to come back really yeah did they say why no they're just like oh i think you sh you should like take the time to heal and recover um because because i was rushed to the hospital you know they would have to be taking tests and all of these things so i guess you know not a good first day impression <laughs> so to speak and like i'd be on sick leave like <laughs> immediately after um who but... was it should we throw him under the bus right now come on yeah <laughs> no, I... what was the name of the place no, what no. was come on i, I can't other pre other people work there they, it's oh, it's, right. it's their livelihood i, I wouldn't you're want so to nice. like sh shut down a complete place <laughs> we got your back vanessa we got your back but yeah, um, I've told other people who they are, but like not on a public platform. Uh, but yeah, and it took me a while to even like, they're in a mall. It took me a while to go back there, like to even walk past it because I'm just so, I was just so um, scarred by it that I never went like, they're close to a food court. I'm just like, no, bring the food to me. I'm not going down there. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I mean, I, I I know the feeling of looking at a place where you've had a seizure and being scarred, and then I, I let alone Vanessa on the first day. Um, <laughs> that's that's yeah. intense. That was that was a thing. That was a thing, and that was like one of the few times where I've had a seizure and like I was constantly throwing up. So it was just evidential that like something is really wrong right now. And uh, it just, it, it just, it just turned into a, a big thing. Like <laughs> yeah. the way I was like rushed out of the, the, the store, the office, it, it was just, yeah, I well, just didn't go back. <laughs> that's well. And you didn't probably really know too many people there your first day i mean it's scary I, I, all the way around i didn't yeah so it was just and this is why i spent time now letting people know what's going on with me you know and uh, i have to even though it's serious you still have to be like look nothing to worry about just if it happens make sure that there isn't anything around me, put me on my side, make sure that my head is secure and I'll come out of it. Here are my emergency contacts. Like, don't freak out. Nice. You know what I mean? Like, don't freak out. If it goes on for longer, then freak out. Like, you know, but this is what I go through. That's beautiful. I, I feel that that actually saved my life a couple times doing just what you do, Vanessa, teaching people around you. I woke up naked outside my apartment in L.A. one night. Just walking the street. I like had thrown myself down the steps. My neighbors called me. Just not the neighborhood you want to do that. I've had like the aura 
of feeling like I'm gonna have a seizure. And I tell uh-huh. you, I I straight like throw on clothes because I'm like I'm not gonna be naked. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're not gonna you're not gonna pull a Nathan. Yeah. Oh, so you <laughs> yeah, have. An- so you have an aura okay yeah i just go straight for it just you know tumble down three flights of steps and then you know but i'm lucky you know because i think the the way erratic behavior in which was described i was acting could be you know easily mistaken for somebody on a i don't know a meth binge or something like i was you know i was just like walking and then kids around like oh my god how embarrassing but you know Thank goodness that I was able to talk to, you know, my friends and neighbors and they know, they know, yeah. they, they,